Hi, I want to show you a new OSL shader that I built with ChatGPT and it's for creating snow. And I have those mountains here. And let me show you with that OSL shader what can be achieved. So this is uh, how the snow looks like. Maybe I can do a better job, but overall the tutorial is uh, for the terrain mask OSL shader. Uh, Cinema 4D has a native one, uh, but it doesn't work with Redshift. So I tried to build an OSL shader and try to inco incorporate as much of the original settings uh, that it has. So let me show you. Uh, you first need an OSL shader node. And if you go here and you can just paste the code and click compile and you get those parameters here and let's put it into the surface directly and see how it works so uh, there is another slope shader but uh, OSL shader that I found but it didn't work quite as I wanted it to work so I tried with terrain mask from Cinema 4D but apparently it doesn't work with Redshift so I built this one so first you can just disable the slope masking and you can start with minimal and max altitude and what does what this basically does is uh, it's a little bit hard to match uh, where you want it to cut so here you can tell where do you want your snow or mask to start and here let's say you can uh, the, you can mask the top part so you can do something like this and let's lower it, lower it a little bit it will be easier to show you other settings so with those you can kind of mask the part that you want I tried uh, to make this to work with not increments of 20 but by one but I couldn't find how to make it so if you want something specific like you need to type it uh, the slider doesn't work that well if somebody knows how to fix this I will be glad to hear it I tried <laughs> whatever I can to with uh, ChatGPT, but nothing worked. So uh, you have soften and uh, minimum and maximum. Those for the minimum and maximum altitude. So you can soften the you can soften this part like like this, or you can soften the other part. Let's say something like this. And uh, when you have some softening happen you can put a noise and let's try with 10 first and we need to decrease the, the noise scale like a lot let's say 0 0.2 maybe something like this so this is uh, with this setting you can add noise to the border regions so the next is the slope masking and this basically works with an angle and at some angle you're masking so there is no snow and at one it's something like this when you increase it you get more and you get even more like this so again I tried to do this uh, with not three <laughs> letters uh, three uh, numbers after the decimal point but the whole with the whole numbers but I didn't quite achieve it if somebody knows how to fix it tell me and let's say you can put 70 degrees here you have also mean slope uh, where you can put something like this let's say you can get different effects and 
also uh, you have a softening of uh, those um, slope regions so you, you can get something like this and also uh, the very last uh, parameter is invert just you can just invert everything and um, basically I made those settings here for the original image I showed you uh, I have the original material for that mountain so after that I made just a regular redshift material with white diffuse um, a little bit of reflection and roughness to the reflection I put it in a, a redshift material blender uh, so this is the base material and this is the top material uh, you can plug it here and then I use the terrain, terrain mask as my blend color and I got this uh, yeah this and after that I just decided I want those parts not to be that dark maybe add a little bit more uh, snow to them so I used a red shift color layer and a maximum noise so we have the terrain mask as a base and we have the maximum noise as layer one and I put the blend screen mode to screen and this is the result and here with that setting uh, you can uh, play a little bit how much snow do you want or you don't want the other thing is sometimes when I do those things like the bump map kind of breaks and uh, this is with the latest Redshift release I'm not sure where when this happens and why probably somebody from Redshift knows like I have to refresh in order to fix the bump map and also by the way I put uh, a little bit of that bump here from the original texture to the RS material probably you can spend a little bit more time with this to make it prettier but what mainly I wanted to show you was the OSL shader at the moment YouTube doesn't give me an option to paste the link probably I will add it to the comments uh, for the OSL shader code uh, and Hope you like it. Thanks everybody. And if you want more things like this, subscribe to the channel. I, whenever I came up with something, I will post a video about it.